Hey everyone, What's welcome up? back. This is my good buddy, Ashley Spurlock. We've been friends how long? 30 years. 30 years, high school friends. Um, he's decided he's gonna come and wanna try painting. So we're gonna do a 3D flower pour on an eight um, inch can uh, hexagon canvas and he wants to do the fluorescent paints. So, this is what we're gonna do. We have all of our paints ready. We have our whites, our white, and it's got a little bit, it is all mixed pour and global products is our paints, seven to one mix. Uh, we have our drag tools, we have our canvas, our spinner, and everything we need to go. So I have already said, I we have everything pre-mixed. So are you ready to go? Ready. All right. So we, I kind of gave him a little run through on how to do this first. Okay. Let me just leave that cap off of it. Go behind here and get this get this camera a little bit closer. So yeah, me and Ashley's old, my older brother and Ashley's older brother, what played soccer together? I think, that's the, I think that's the first time we met, wasn't it? Right. <laughs> I think we've known each other ever since then. Okay, remember, you're white. You're losing your white. So you have to go around your ring. There you go. That's okay. Remember, we're going to spin that off. Right. That's green. That's the yellow one. Yeah, I have two greens up there, don't I? Here's your paint. Which one are you gonna yeah. do next? Are you gonna try to stay in that same pattern? Do what? You gonna stay in that same color pattern? Mm, yeah, I'm gonna do. I'll just do these and then I'll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you gotta go back around with your white. Yep, you're in the blue. <coughs> it's kind of hard. You got to kind of get a rhythm in your head right. of the colors. And you're going to go green. We got to go about a third out. So you still got a little ways to go on colors. Do it? Yeah. Yep, nope. Uh, isn't that the pink? Yeah. Excuse me. 
we've had some chilly weather today. It has been quite cold. Is it blue? We'll go with this. Yeah. Sorry. I about made you mess up. That's mess me up. <laughs> That'd have been a hard one to fix. Yeah. Can you put some more white or not? Uh, yeah. As we're getting to the end of it, you're going to start making smaller rings in the center. So that way when we spin it and the ring grows out, it won't be so big. Do you understand what I'm saying? In the middle. Mm-hmm. So what colors are we going? We're back we're with the yellow. So go smaller. Mm-hmm. What color was that after that? Pink. Pink. Kind of just spin it just a little bit. I'm gonna pick it up and remove it. Just you're not gonna hurt anything. Get it back I'm gonna center. get it back to center on the canvas. There we go. You're gonna probably have to use some white. Okay, we are, we're almost done with this. I didn't realize how much that that paint was coming out. There you go. Blue. We're gonna end with, we're gonna end with black in the center. It always makes a good, a nice, Effect. You're going to add a small dot of black, a little bit more. There you go. Perfect. Now you're going to want to torch it. You want to torch, torch, torch it. it. Yeah, torch all the bubbles out. So you have some bubbles. There's a bubble there. So just, he's got a child safety on the bottom. There you go, pull it, push it down. There you go. Nope. Just wave it over it. A little bit closer. There you go. Just kind of get all the bubbles popped. Don't stay too close, too long on one spot. It looks good. I don't see any more bubbles. You did good. Okay. All right. So now, which you're going to go with? Uh, we're going to go with a small drag. I'm not just going to do that. Okay. You're going to. Okay. Just, shh. First off, you're going to paint. We're going to add the color to the edges. And then we're going to paint it out. We're gonna smooth it and make sure all this paint comes to the edge. Cause remember, just like we use that white ring mm -hmm. to make it all slide, we're doing that to let it slide over the edge. Gotcha. 
when we spin it, you don't want it to keep, you don't want it to roll, you want it to slide over. So that way you don't gotta. Yeah. That way you don't lean over the the paint. It looks like a natural. He does, doesn't he? Mm. That's okay. That part's gonna be spun off. Remember, the edges are gonna be spun off. Bob Ross always says there's no accidents. Mm -hmm. There's no mistakes. That's what he said. There's no mistakes, only happy accidents. So. Awesome. Okay. All right, well, you've got that to where it'll slide real well. Okay. So now you take your pen, you're gonna start from your corners, you're gonna stick it in the paint, and then you're gonna to drag to that black center. And you're gonna lift and you're gonna dot into the center. Okay. And then you're gonna drag. Oh, from here? You're gonna drag from the, it oh. doesn't matter. Where you drag, where you start from, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you hit that center. You want to lift up just a little bit before you get to the black. There you go. That way you can hit that same spot. Oh, I'm not even painting and I already got paint on me. <laughs> Okay, now in between every time, this time that you drag it, you're gonna take it from your center and you're gonna drag it and you're gonna wiggle it through without picking up your pen. So drag it out a little bit and then wiggle it all the way to the end? Uh-huh, drag it until you, until you like it and then however you want, because you want it to look like that other wiggle paint, right? Right. So then your next drag is going to kind of be of a wiggle. Uh, I guess. Start from the center? Yeah, you can start from the center, drag, drag out a little bit, and then you can start your wiggle. You want to, yeah, you want to, there you go, so you don't drag your colors back through your center.
I never thought wiggling the drag outward with the fluorescence actually looks really well. Now you can add more uh, and do whatever else you want with it. No, it looks pretty sweet. Okay, so now <coughs> there is one little problem that I did see when you drug and I don't know if I can find it. There was a little booger that I saw when you drug, and I thought it was right here. Okay, we'll find it when you spin it. Okay, so now you want to take it. Oh, no, no, no. You want to take your big ball. You're going to take this, and you're going to take it in the center. You're going to go down mm -hmm. to just touch the canvas and come straight up to, to fix the center, to make it look huh? that it comes straight to a center. Go in, now come up, straight up. There you go. Now, if that doesn't look like the right center, you can do it again. There you go. Got it. So that looks better, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, you're gonna take it and you're gonna give it a whirl, a slight whirl. A little bit. Come on, there you go. <coughs> Let it spin for a minute. Then you want to slow that down. Now, you've got to spin it the other way too to correct the paint. There you go. Just a tad. And there it is. That is your painting. Boom shakalaka. There you go. <laughs> So now we're going to show it what it looks like. Here we go. Woo! Boom, boom. That's an awesome one. Can you see it in the camera? Is that, how does that look? You like that, Ashley? Heck yeah. That's what I wanted. Awesome. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Man, that sucker is glowing. All righty. Let me get this light back out. Well, I appreciate you coming this evening and pouring with me. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, next time we'll do a different kind of pour. Right. All righty. Till next time. All right.